They have over 6,000 or 7,000 stores. They're not in trouble. This is a matter of family dollar and dollar tree who owns them cutting the fat, leaning out the stores that are not performing well in order to boost profits and make it better, look better, or at least be better for investors. Everything changes. All right, 400 stores closing. Here goes Family Dollar. Sunlight's a little bright. Sorry about that, guys. But there it is, 400 stores. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we are inside Family Dollar. And, of course, this place is not a dollar for everything. It's priced. Um, some stuff is a dollar. All right. <clears throat> We actually buy these for our dogs, but we buy big bags at Walmart for like eight bucks, ten bucks. Lots of dollar snacks there. So like this is something I buy at Walmart sometimes or Publix, and these are two dollars, and that's they're like two two twenty five at Walmart. Um, I like all the flavored V eights and all that, so. Ah, not really a huge savings there. So again, I drink like flavored waters and stuff like uh, ice or whatnot. They're a dollar each, same price as Walmart, a dollar each. So like this quilted northern bonus roll is $7.50 and it's, it's not very big, not big at all actually. I get ones that are like four of these things for like 12 bucks. So again, they're losing on price there. The thing I'm noticing in this store is that a lot of it is smaller quantities, kind of like these Cheez-Its are like the really small boxes rather than buying bigger. And when you buy bigger, you always get a better price. So it looks like they're trying to, you know, push smaller quantities of things in order to get, you know, the most money for profit for a piece that they can. Um, because when you get these things in bulk and bigger, you know, that's why people shop at Costco and Sam's Club and whatnot. But when you buy this stuff in bulk, you know, who's going to buy a little four pack of Cheez-Its for a dollar? I mean, it is a dollar, but still, why not just buy big boxes for three bucks? They made this aisle just for me. Look, cough and cold. I've almost got rid of it though, guys. Look, Mucinex, <laughs> Tussin, Mucus Relief, Tylenol Cold, Therapy. I should be taking this entire aisle, right? The entire end cap should be me. <laughs> so the car chemical aisle is actually more expensive than anywhere that I've seen. Six dollars, six fifty for wheel and tire stuff. That's a lot. Walmart's definitely cheaper on this stuff. Um, I don't. I use some Black Magic for my car, but not a lot. I have some special chemicals for it that I wash it with. <laughs> I'm gonna have people make these shirts that says "When it snows, I pour." Right? <laughs> for all you northern people. So I don't want to put them on camera, but the district manager just talked to me and like I thought, the stock is doing really well. Again, I told you guys in the post, they have over 6,000 or 7,000 stores. They're not in trouble. This is a matter of family dollar and dollar tree who owns them cutting the fat, leaning out the stores that are not performing well in order to boost profits and make it better, look better or at least be better for investors. So the DM also just told me that in addition to the 400 stores that closed, they are opening 200 new stores, some of which are here in Florida, which is pretty good news for them. Uh, I wouldn't be too worried about Family Dollar and their stock price. I got a lot of emails of people worried about, you know, and asking is there gonna be problems with Family Dollar. And uh, I think they're gonna be just fine. Let's go over to my computer and check out the, uh, the news story about this. All right, so CNN Business Family Dollar announcing on March 6, 2019, they're closing nearly 400 stores. Uh, it's actually 390 to be exact, but of course, like I mentioned a minute ago, they are opening some new stores as well. So this is a uh, chain of stores, for those of you not familiar, that's for low-income shoppers. All the items sold under $10 at more than 8,000 stores. And if you didn't know, Family Dollar is actually owned by Dollar Tree, which operates another 7,000 stores in suburban areas. So that gives them a total of 15,000 stores stores. So you're only talking about what? 1% being 150, so 2% being 300. So less than 3% of their stores are closing. So it's not a huge huge deal. Now Dollar Tree 
the company that owns Family Dollar, uh, caters to customers who make more than Family Dollar, but their products sell for only a dollar. So that's kind of weird. Cheaper products for the richer customers and their more expensive products in the lower income areas. So that's kind of weird. Um, Dollar Tree actually bought Family Dollar like four years ago, three, four years ago. They paid eight and a half billion dollars. And the combined company hoped that by joining forces, it would grow the customer base to be able to fend off retailers like Dollar General and Walmart. Um, Family Dollar has struggled. Um, Dollar Tree stock price is falling. And they've been heavily pressured by their investors, similar to how eBay was by their investors. Um, People say they overpaid for Family Dollar, which is probably right. Um, The firm, which is best known for revitalizing Olive Garden, is Starboard Value. The CEO, Jeffrey Smith, told him they overpaid for it. Uh, And he owns 1% of Dollar Tree. So he's got an invested interest in the company and doesn't want to see them fail. Um, So it rebranded 200 stores as Dollar Tree. So it took uh, family Dollar er, uh, earlier in the year in 2018 and took 200 of those to turn them into Dollar Trees and then uh, 400 stores closing. Uh, other Family Dollars will keep the name, but they're going to try to stack it with Dollar Tree merchandise, which seems to be the more popular merchandise and alcohol section. So that's pretty good uh, for them as well. Hopefully it will um, spur some interest and get them more money and do better for them. Um, Dollar General, their competitor, has 15,000 stores, the same as Dollar Tree and Family Dollar have combined, Dollar General has, and they're expanding into more rural areas, which might do well for the company as well. Also selling um, groceries. Uh, You guys know about Ollie's. Most of you up north know about Ollie's. We don't have it here in Florida that I know of. We used to have it in Maryland when I lived there. Uh, And Five Below are apparently both doing really well. So there is a market for all this discounted cheap stuff. Uh, The discount groceries like Aldi and is it Lidl? I don't know. We don't have that here. Um, Are also opening hundreds of stores. So they're cheap groceries beating out Walmart and Target as well, which has forced Walmart and Target to lower prices. I don't know how many of you shop at the discount ones versus Walmart or Target or if you shop at the higher end Publix and, um, you know, like Food Lion and Whole Whole Foods and things like that. But this is an interesting sector of the market, an interesting um, kind of diverse array of businesses that operate on like dollar items, under $10 items, discount items. Uh, There's some of you that do retail arbitrage in these stores, right? I have not. uh, I really need to give it a shot, I guess, because buying items for a dollar, two, three dollars might be something, you know, you can get them in quantity, make the listings and be profitable. And this might be something you can check out. We probably have like, I'm not even kidding, in this general 30 minute vicinity, like $50 tree, dollar general and family dollar store. So this is something that would be ridiculously viable in my area and I might have to check it out. So I'm wondering if uh, any of you do retail arbitrage, how successful you've been, do you make money? Please comment below. Uh, It's the only way I'm going to know. And as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Very important. Hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. You'll get a notice every time I post a new video and when I go live, so you'll never miss any of those. I want to thank everybody for watching. I appreciate it, and I want everyone to know that for this weekend, again, we put out the three training course bundle, eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark. You will learn in 90 videos how to operate each platform, how to list, how to sell, how to take photos, where to buy wholesale, how to do FBA, how to operate your Poshmark closet, clear it out, how to do everything top to bottom. You'll also get a year inside of the VIP private Facebook resellers group. You'll get all 27 of my how to make money on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and email marketing training videos, and all 600 bolos on eight guides plus three additional bonus guides, estate sales, Poshmark for beginners, and social media for beginners. All of that included it's just 149. The year alone in the Facebook group will pay for that. Please consider joining and taking your business full time. If you've ever wanted to go full time, now is better than ever. And we're going to teach you everything. You're going to receive over 117 videos and over 12 guides, a dozen guides to help you do it. So the link is below. Check it out. Consider it. If you have questions about it, email me rockstarflipper at gmail.com and I will be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful afternoon and a wonderful weekend, everyone. We'll see you next time.